uh, David. And I'm here to perform for you. I'm here to perform for you. Okay. Sorry. Anytime you're ready. I've always dreamed of being a hero. I've tried everything to become super. I, I let a spider bite me. No spider power is just lots of itchy. I tried standing too close to the microwave oven, hoping the radiation would change me. Nothing. I got in trouble for making too many bags of popcorn. But I took that popcorn to school, and I had a popcorn party. I was the hero that day. So I guess it kind of worked out. I love helping people. I love being a hero. And I love making people happy. Fine. Can I check? And I hate creeps who hurt people. I hate them. There's this kid at our school. He's always hurting everyone. That's why I need those superpowers. I need something that will make him stop. Maybe. Maybe if I eat enough of the school lunches, I'd look radioactive. Maybe if I get enough green hot dogs and brown ketchup me, something is bound to happen. I need a cool catchphrase like, and smoosh me a bad. Yeah. Yeah. And a cool co Actually, <laughs> last time I was in the bathroom, I saw the perfect superhero name Protecto. Think about it. Think about it. Those cover seats for the bathroom, they could be my cape, and I could make a toilet paper mask. Nothing scares bad guys more than bathroom stuff. Or. <sighs> Maybe it will, really will want them to give me a swirly. I better rethink this. I don't need you or anyone else to tell me about me. I don't need you to think that without, your, without you, I wouldn't be where I am now. I can do fine without your help. I, I got a GED. I went to a community college with money I earned at the warehouse. I, I didn't go to Harvard, I didn't get a scholarship, and you can't take any credit for where I am today. Listen, when I was a boy, I lived in a bad place. Broken down cars, broken down lives, and broken down refrigerators were on half the front lawns of my little street. Well, my, my mother, she, she planted a garden. She wanted people to see beauty before they went to work each day. She wanted to show people that there was still color in the world. She would work from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. And she would come home and cook me and my siblings dinner and help us with our homework. She was pissed off half the time and tired of the rest, but we ate and we got our homework done. After we went to sleep for the night, she would go out for the garden for hours at a time fixing it up, fixing it up. And whatever and whoever drove on to the garden and crashed into our side of the room and they looted everything. I know there, she fixed up the room, she fixed up the garden. But she was forced to cover it up with a big, giant, ugly iron fence. And what do you think that told everybody driving by to work? Beauty can't be shared. Beauty is commodity. Beauty is property. And every day from then on, they saw the flowers gelled and wanting. I want free beauty. Free hope. I want you to be able to see beauty also. But we're going to get there together. You ain't controlling me, and I ain't controlling you. Got it?